Which Oreo flavoured ice cream is the best? So we've tried every flavour of Oreo. We've tried every Oreo Cadbury product. We've tried every Oreo flavoured product or every product that tastes like an Oreo, allegedly. And now, next in the series, of course, we had to go for every Oreo ice cream that we could get our hands on. I mean, it's only four, but this is still more Oreo ice cream than I thought existed. Okay, so to start off with, I think we should go for the tub one. Because, you know, it's a little warm in the studio and it's 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 already on the melting way, which is good. Because I don't like my ice cream rock solid, do you? No. No, I like it when it's been left out for a little bit, so hopefully this is going to be good. Oh, doesn't really smell of anything. I guess it's ice cream, no. but I feel like this is going to be really nice. I love it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, well, that's good. I like how the Oreo like cookie biscuit pieces are soft and not crunchy. Yeah. Because that's like the downside with the McFlurry. You know, you get nice with the ice cream, but the pieces are crunchy. Which is more like a real Oreo, but. I could easily eat that whole tub right now. <laughs> so, what's your initial thoughts? Ten. Ten. Already, the best one. I agree. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's the best one. We've only had one, so it is the best so far. But I feel like this might be a winner already. Because it's nothing special to it. No, but it's just it's simple. good. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. Alright, so next up we've got Oreo Stick Sandwich. This is a Cadbury product, so maybe we should have tried this in our Oreo Cadbury products video. But hey, if you haven't seen that, do check it out. So here we go. It's just an Oreo ice cream sandwich covered in chocolate and on a stick. I really like the, the packaging. I do. Like, they could be sold individually. That, that just looks nice. That's a big Oreo. Oh. Ha! <laughs> oh well that's fun <laughs> mine's broke off the stick well this is already my worst one because how can I enjoy it if it's well I can enjoy it <sighs> so I can wedge it back in there okay so I don't quite get the full experience but I guess it'll be fine Mine tastes like a magnum. It has magnum vibes, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. it's ice cream on a stick coated in chocolate. And the biscuit is soft again. Not as good as I was expecting, I'll be honest. No. Um, like with the chocolate coating, I don't even notice the biscuit in there. And I think the ice cream, at least for me, tastes like it's watered down. Yeah. I don't know how to do it straight. It's not as sweet as you thought it was. No. Like, the ice cream in this is different to the ice cream in that other one. Mm -hmm. Like, this doesn't even taste like ice cream. It has, like, a whipped cream texture. Like, it's not bad. I could eat them, but... Mm -hmm. I was expecting a bit more. We'll save the real ranking for the end once we've tried the last two. But, yeah, nice packaging. Probably the best thing about it. Next up, I think it only makes sense to try the regular ice cream sandwich, just to see, hey, if it's it, any is it different. any better? Is it better without chocolate coating? Is it better without a stick inside it? Smaller than a full. Yeah, they are quite small, aren't they? And they're still squishy. They're very squishy. Hmm. So I'm going to guess the biscuit's going to be soft again. Ice cream's a different colour. Oh, yeah, soft. Nice. I like that. Oh, wait. It feels like the ice cream is the same as the Capri one. Mm. Like the moussey whipped cream type of ice cream. The biscuit's soft, but... It's almost kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. So, one more left to do. I think this is going to be a, a very hard like ranking. You think? Mm-hmm. Mm, see, I, I feel differently. 
All right, here we go. The most exciting one to get. I don't know what to expect. I reckon they're going to be quite small, though, I, th I think. Maybe. But it only says four. Yeah. And if you think about it, if you, you fit a four like that... I don't think so. I think it's going to be this way. That's, that's, that's still pretty big. Mm, maybe. All right, so you open it from here this, this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was much easier. I still did it wrong. I still messed that up. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's, that's a fair size. Knowing my luck, the top part is going to just detach from the cone. It's a bit smaller than I thought. Hmm. It's not as round. It looks like it's been plonked on top of there. Yeah. Whereas on the packaging, it looks like a nice round ball. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Is it? But it's so good. <laughs> like, the, like the tucked on top's weird. Oh, yeah. But it's really good. Because it's kind of hard, but then it like dissolves in your mouth. It's kind of like sand. <laughs> yeah, it does have a sandy texture. Very grainy. I think it might be a bit too sweet though for me. I'm actually struggling to eat this. Oh, it's so sweet. It's the first mess I've made. The ice cream's good though. Yeah. If you just fast forward this video to see if it gets any exciting later on, then we're just eating ice cream. Mm hmm. This is what you subscribe for. And if you haven't subscribed, then why not? I'm a bit ice creamed out at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which always happens after these videos. It's like, I don't even want to look at the rest of the products. The only bit that was really bad was the chocolate bit on top. Because it was so weird. Yeah. But the texture. That's obviously, like, that's the main selling point of this ice cream. Is that fun chocolate on the top. As soon as you like... Touched it, it just dissolved. I thought it was in like that, it's like solid cho chocolate. That's what I thought. Not crumbly chocolate. Mm. Well, I need to wash my hands and wash this desk, but before we get to that point, let's rank them. Usually we'd go back and have second taste just to confirm our thoughts, but I don't think we need to do that here. No. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> we started off with this one, the one in the tub. And I think that set the bar really high. Yeah. It was so simple, but just so good. I don't know how else to describe it. This one is up there for me. What, first? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's also first. Oh, well, there we go. We, well. we don't need to do the rest of the video. No, I'm only kidding. Which ones... What would you say is your second favourite here, then? Probably these. Because I like the... Solid chocolate, um, and then it was also really nice. It's just nice. I was torn between these two because I like these. These they're just like fun little ice cream sandwiches. No, actually, no. I'm gonna stick with this. This is my second best, and then whilst I'm here, this is third for me. I mean, I like these for some of the reasons. I like those. The extra chocolate it adds something, but it also takes away. So like it kind of counters the cookie that comes on top of the ice cream sandwich here. The stick I don't care for because mine fell apart. I could still eat it. This seemed like a great idea. I thought it was going to be the best one. But its unique selling point is actually its biggest weakness in my opinion. I just wasn't a fan of the chocolate on top and it was quite sweet. But the rest of it I liked. So yeah, what, what, uh, what's your third and fourth? Third? I'll probably have to say these and mm. then that, that's it. It's basically the same. Yeah. Well, there we go. We have some similar opinions, some differing ones. But yeah, I said to him before we started recording that, he I'll gets take, this. I'll, I'll, I'll take it now, so then you don't have to take it when done. Yeah. That's really liquidy. It's like, it's like a McFlurry. It is like a McFlurry. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this episode of the Daily Weekly Show. Don't forget to check out all the previous episodes where we tried other Oreo products and other things. You know, we this isn't all about Oreos. We have tried things like Captain Morgan's rum. Well, Vinny hasn't, but me and Jake have. Or Red Bull. Again, Vinny hasn't done that. But hey, if you want to see me and Vinny do another taste test, let us know in the comments. Or check out the one where we tried every flavour of custard cream. That was a lot of flavours. Do you remember those custard creams? Yeah. Mm, some good, some really not so good. 
Well, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Well, I guess we could just sit here and watch Vinny eat a cup of ice cream if we really wanted to. But I'm sure we've all got better things to do. I don't.